Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's week three on the shuttle bus build. I've already went down to the bus, got all the tools set up, but I think JT's down there doing some electrical work. So we're gonna head down and see that, but a lot of things are gonna be happening. Framing, painting, uh, we're gonna be finishing this thing up, so let's go take a look. Do you wanna see what JT's up to? JT, what are you up to? Uh, messing stuff up? No, just <laughs> wiring and all the, the power for everything, all the 12 volt stuff right now. Oh, his little helper. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm gonna be doing right now is this right here is a box that I just built for the AC unit up here and I've gotta be able to get the grates in here so we're gonna custom make them so that we can get the air to flow out the front. We don't wanna use a residential normal one. Uh, the client asked for um, a special type of metal mesh so we're gonna have to frame that in, get the fit. So let's see if we can make that happen and what it's gonna look like when it's done. I don't know how clear that detail comes in, but she's like nailing that edge. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it comes in. I'll get closer just in case. All right, so the plan is we've got our lines, we've got our other lines for our length, and now we've got to cut it out so that that great area We'll let air come through there. Hopefully we don't mess this up. And in other news, JT's still doing electrical. Yep. <laughs> but if you look, his electrical work. It's coming out pretty clean. I feel like when you do electrical work, it's like being an artist. It's gotta look really good. The piece is installed. Covering the new vent. Now we just gotta trim it out, and we'll be good to go. What? <laughs> well, we're back at the good old Home Depot. Pretty much, JT's going to look for someone and something, which is pretty typical because when you're doing a bus build, as you probably already know, if you're doing a bus build, you spend half your time here and half your time inside the bus. He's checking the list real quick. Because you know, every time you go to Home Depot or any hardware store and you think you have everything, you always forget that one thing. And then you end up coming back. We probably forgot. <laughs> we probably forgot it and don't even know it. It's all right. I think the record for Home Depot, my record's five trips in one day. What's your record? Dude, I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> we already found a bad piece of wood. What you do? List. Beginning of week three. Beds are in, couches are put together. I'm gonna pretty much spend the day tying up a bunch of the electrical and plumbing systems now that we have most of the wood in. So I'm gonna get the electrical done, but I wanna show you what JT's up to today. Just whacked my camera. So here's what JT's up to. He's building a back deck. So JT, what are you doing here? I'm gonna be building a back deck. Uh, I'm going to be mounting it to the actual frame rails, so it is going to be removable and then also gaining the strength from the frame rails and then also as elevated as high as possible so we're not like low down like the bumper because it is going to have about a two foot overhang. Higher up is going to definitely allow you more ground clearance when you're hitting those hard angles and stuff. stopped us from finishing the deck here but I have to say that for what did get done on this deck JT is killing it and uh, tomorrow's supposed to be sunny so I think he's gonna finish up tomorrow so you, we're gonna have to wait a day to see what it's gonna look like guess what today is well first off it's a sunny day which 
hasn't happened in a while, so that's super exciting. The other really exciting part is that today, whoa, you guys see the sun? It's super bright. Is it on automatic? Yeah, it is on automatic. That's kind of weird. Guess what today is? Today is the first sunny day in quite a long time, which is pretty awesome because we can actually get some outside work done, some caulking, and JT is going to finish that back deck, which I'm super excited to see because outside space is always the hardest to use because you got to modify the body structure. But when you got a guy who's like a custom fab guy, I mean, hey. JT, what did you do over here? Cut that fiberglass rear cap. Plus they're gonna have to cut some more over here to get it to fit. I didn't think that's what you were gonna. I didn't think I could do it either, but I worked it out. Yeah, it looks good. So right here in the school bus, this is kind of our main control panel on the side of the couch. We did it here specifically because all the electrical systems are inside this couch, so it's super easy to wire and check any of the wiring if anything goes wrong in the future. We've got our battery sensors here, 120 plugs, 12 volt plugs, our pump uh, for our water pump switch, just in case they wanna have a shut off switch, and our on and off power system for the inverter. The other really important thing we're gonna put here, which is really the point of why I'm even filming this section, is the LP and carbon monoxide detectors. We're gonna be putting it right here, which is within the manufacturer's spec, uh, about four inches off the ground, 20 inches high, somewhere within there, you should be mounting one of these close to any of your propane sensors. Um, we're gonna be installing this for safety. Another thing, you should definitely be picking up a fire alarm um, and installing these. Even though you're not in a residential house, it is super important to still have these basic safety needs. But let's start installing this and get the sensor in so we can get this tied up. And there you have it. So, we got this guy in, but now what we have to do, we gotta connect those wires into our panel right there. So, I gotta take apart this wire loom that we already did. Um, we didn't know that we were putting this in, so we already finished it all up, but we'll take this part, run the wire all the way over there, put it into the fuse block, and then we're good to go. We'll be safe from carbon dioxide and propane. Another important thing, whenever you're doing any type of work, it has nothing to do with the work you're doing. The important thing is to stay organized. The most annoying thing you can do when building is not have all the tools. So what I like to do before I get really any project going is I collect all the tools, lay them out, so I know that all I have to do is just grab them, the job will go a lot quicker, and I can get things done a lot faster. Just a quick little tip. All right, well, bad job's done. Electrical propane is in. We are safe. I think it's about time we head on to the next task. Okay. All right, it's the end of week three. We've got a, a, I mean, a, a bunch of stuff done from last week. As you saw, JT did the back porch, which is now officially done and in. We're gonna take the bus for a little bit of a test drive and check the clearances on that. Make sure that this bus won't be bottoming out on any hills. So, you ready to take this thing for a drive pretty soon? Yep. Let's do it. How's that backup camera working? All right, we just got back and the bus pretty much rode perfectly. There wasn't any rattles, uh, no noises coming from anything we built in, which is, is great news because sometimes when you build something, you take it on the road and you get those vibrations. Sometimes you find things that aren't as tight as you thought. But we ended up not really finding anything, so I want to give a quick little tour of what we got done the last three weeks, and then, uh, yeah, move on to week four.
which means the build is coming to an end. We're actually gonna be finishing up the bus, cleaning up all the tools, and heading out today, which also means that the bus is pretty much like 95, 99% done. Our intention was never actually to finish the bus entirely. Um, we were just kind of providing four weeks of work and just kind of working as hard as we can to see how much we can get done. It is almost done, but not completely. There are some painting and finishing touches um, that will still need to be done, but the thing is good enough to hit the road this weekend and uh, it's actually gonna be going out for Memorial Day. We've got the garage all clean. Been sweeping all morning so that all the tools can go over there. We've got our list of things still to do. We still have a bit of things left to do. Uh, most of them are pretty simple, smaller tasks that we're just trying to tie up loose ends, make sure all the systems are working. I don't know if the water actually, it actually has water, but uh, all the systems are tested, propane water, so we're pretty excited. Um, but let's take a look at what we built and kind of just see what this thing looks like. All right, the bus is done. I mean, done for what we're gonna be doing, but it's time to turn it around. We're gonna get it all set up and cleaned and staged because the owner isn't home yet, um, so we wanna kinda get it all set up and staged so that when she gets home, she can just put her stuff in and head out for the weekend. So, let's make this thing shine. JT, I think it was good, man. You too. Man. Thanks for inviting me, <laughs> Tamara. Bye. It was good. I really appreciate uh, you guys inviting me on the build. Yeah. But it's time to head out. The bus is pretty much done, so it's on to the next adventure for me and also for them. I think they're heading out towards Colorado, um, and I'm going to be heading towards Tennessee and then Canada and a lot of places. Um, but yeah, this build came to an end. It was a lot of fun. Quick four weeks. Um, but it's time to head back out on the road.